If you're suffering from persistent acne, please watch this video. I'm gonna be talking about something that not a lot of doctors will actually talk about freely. It's gonna be controversial, so if you stand on the other side of this, I'm happy to have educated discussions in the comments, but please keep it civil. Let me ask you, what really makes a good doctor? If you're not happy, how are you supposed to help your patients? This is something that I've done personally, so not only from personal experience, but a lot of my friends, colleagues, even doctors, do this for their acne. And I think if the world started doing this and it became more kind of publicly available and open to discussion, it could drive the multi-trillion dollar skincare industry pretty much out of business. So listen up, this is gonna be important, it's gonna be controversial, and I'm gonna try and lay it out as clear as I possibly can, so brace yourself. One of the most controversial medications in dermatology and skincare is, of course, Accutane. Everyone's heard of it, also known as isoretinoin. It's basically a vitamin A derivative, and it alters DNA transcription, leading to a decrease in the size and secretions of your sebaceous glands. Those are the oil glands that secrete sebum. They commonly get infected with bacteria, cause pimples. That's what the medication does. Pretty simple, straightforward. It's very, very effective. The reason it's so controversial is because of all the side effects. For example, women taking it, it's highly teratogenic. They can have massive birth defects. So when it's prescribed to a young lady, they have to be on multiple forms of birth control. There's also some serious research about negative effects on mood, depression, even suicide when taking this medication in high doses. Now hear me out. I took this as a kid in high doses. The clinically approved dose was like 40, 50 milligrams a day. I had all of the traditional side effects. I had mood swings, I got massively dry. It was a pretty miserable experience. This was when I was a teenager, like 14, 15 years old. Fast forward 15 years, here we are today. Oil, my skin is oily again. It's back to kind of pre-Accutane levels. I was secreting sebum. I was still getting persistent acne as an adult. What are my options, right? Am I gonna, I have a perfect skincare re regimen. You know, I keep my face very clean. I use all of the, the right expensive products, but there's really not much you can do if you have oily secret, secretive skin. Uh, like I do. So I, I did some digging. I talked to a lot of my friends in dermatology. I did, went through the research online and what I found and what I tried changed my life. And this is microdosing on Accutane. Again, hear me out. The typical dose prescribed to teenagers, people with cystic acne is somewhere between 20 to 40 milligrams a day of this medication. It causes these massive side effects. You get seriously dry, you get these mood swings. However, when you microdose, when you take a very small amount of Accutane, what I've found, and there's not a lot of research to support this, frankly, not a lot of people have talked about this, and I'm not sure why. I think this is a really strong treatment option for people with persistent acne as an adult, specifically people like myself who are oilier than most. So definitely something to, to listen up and, and talk to your doctor about. And I wanna be frank, not a lot of doctors are gonna be on board with this. A lot of doctors subscribe to the thinking that Accutane is bad, it's not worth the risk of depression, of teratogenicity if you're a woman, but it could be a, a really good long-term op option, especially if you've done everything else, tried everything else, you know, you're using a topical retinoid, you you have a, a, a really good established skincare regimen and still not working. This is something you could potentially use. Not only have I found that my acne is completely cleared up, I haven't had a pimple since I've started this treatment regimen, but I'm not oily anymore. It does a really good job for controlling my oil, controlling my shine, and controlling my acne, and I have no side effects. So I'll tell you what I'm doing, and then I want to urge you to do your own research, talk to your physician, this is not medical advice. So what I do is I take about 10 milligrams of the medication every other day. And this is a, an adjusted dosage that I've worked out myself based on what I've noticed taking the medication. I started with 10 milligrams every day. I still didn't have any side effects, but then I'm like, how low can I drop this dosage while maintaining the clinical result that I wanted, which was a decrease in oil and a decrease in acne. And I found that I can get it down to about 10 milligrams every other day and still maintain that positive result. So this is something that I've been doing, of course, in observance with my medical professional, with my doctor. I do lab routine lab tests to make sure that my thyroid isn't affected, my liver isn't affected. And so far, I will say that this microdose strategy that I've been using has been basically clinically devoid of side effects. My lab tests are solid. I don't have any side effects on the medication and only the positive effects. I haven't had a pimple in almost a year.
And I will also tell you, and I'm not gonna drop any names, but a lot of dermatologists use this. Of course, they, they don't prescribe this to a lot of their patients because it does require close monitoring and there are risks associated specifically in women. So talk to your doctor about this. It could be an option. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video and if you wanna see more of this, I don't wanna call it biohacking, but content that is potentially otherwise unavailable online, please leave a comment, please like, and please subscribe. It does support the channel, and I will continue delivering this sort of advice and knowledge to you so that you can make the best decision for yourself and potentially have a better life and a healthy one. So please go ahead and comment, go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. I'm happy to have educated discussions in the comments as well. If you are subscribed to the way of thinking that Accutane is all bad, no good, stay away from it. I'm the devil for talking about it in a positive light at all. I appreciate your concern and I also see your point of view, but please keep it civil in the comments. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.